Amber beams of light pour through the half-closed blinds of the bar's windows. Black soot from the oil lamps clings to the corner of the ceiling. The wood of the table pressing against your face is rough and reeks of sour wine. Welcome to Gays and Goblins, an actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Hello, and thank you for joining us here at Gays and Goblins. This is Act 1, Episode 6 of our story. I'm Riley, your DM for the evening, and joining me tonight... My name is Dean, and I'm playing Corvus. Uh, I use they, them pronouns, and Corvus goes by she, her. My name is Leah, and I use she, her pronouns. I'm playing Doran, who uses he, him pronouns. My name is Caleb, and I am playing Leek, and we both use he, him pronouns. My name is Ash, I'm playing Rune. I use they, them, and Rune uses she, her, or they, them. I'm Blake, I will be playing Criff, and I apologize for any, like, coughing or, like, gravelly voice because I am slightly sick. Okay, you guys left off having captured Feral Santa uh, by body slamming him (laughs) off a roof. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And I got his precious pants pebbles. You did. (laughs) You put his junk in your pants. I did. (laughs) We're off to a great start. Merry Christmas, everybody. You know. Also, it's back to being spring. It's not magically winter. (laughs) What? But what about feral Santa? We we body slammed the Christmas spirit right out of him. (laughs) (laughs) Boom. Um, so are we in combat, or... Uh, n- you have dropped initiative order, I think. Unless you desperately want to kill Feral Santa. <laughs> I just punch him in the face. No. Uh, yeah. So, of course, when we left off, <laughs> I said that one-liner. Corvus is probably... Like, she grabs his arms and is, like, holding him down. Uh, it took her probably a second to, like, kind of get her bearings on that. Because, obviously, when you yeet yourself off a rooftop and land on someone. But she's also probably, like frantically calling for the party members to all come over and help because she doesn't want to get blown up she will die everyone else is standing pretty close to you on the side of the building there anyways yeah i think we established that the party members who are either like not quite in close proximity but heading in that direction so Mm -hmm. and who are not off doing too attractive half elves you've got uh feral santa pinned what would you like to do he's kind of struggling wiggling He, he doesn't want to be here I don't want him to be wiggling. <laughs> 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 like, well, is this straight up not a good time. <laughs> She's going to get off of Pharaoh with Santa. And she grabs him by the arm and like pulls him up with her and grabs both of his arms behind his back like cops do when they're arresting. Okay. I don't I'm guessing I don't have I take out rope and I bind his Okay, yeah. You generally got rope to carry. Yeah. Oh. Is it fireproof rope? <laughs> I'm fireproof, so if you fucking... Oh, because this oh. is audio format, the response to the question, is it fireproof, rope, was a very cheesy smile. With uh, eyebrow raised. Yes. Continue. Assuming that means a no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so I have brought Feral Santa off the ground and have found his wrist. Okay. Let me go. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Corvus just rolls up. No, dude. <laughs> no, nah, dude. <laughs> No, honey darling, I can't do that because you wanted to already try and run away. You already hurt some of us. I'm not just going to let you go. Mm. He stands still for a moment as though he's kind of assessing the situation. He looks around and he sees that there's several of y'all. He starts grabbing at you with his hands from behind him, oh like gosh. grabbing any piece of clothing, trying to reach for your pockets. Is uh, I smack him in the back of the head huh? <laughs> <laughs> and tell him, now, honey darling... I lost it. I can't find it. I'm in love with you. (laughs) Oh, wait. Character voice. What's my character voice? I'm in love with you. (laughs) Well, I guess that's one thing you all have in common with trying to rob people. It's a match made in hell. I think it's deeper than that. (laughs) Um, Corvus kind of, like, glances from Feral Santa to Rune because she is aware that Rune picked up the Things that fell out of Feral Santa's pocket. So she's assuming that Rune still has them, and she turns her attention back to Feral Santa, and she says, Now, honey darling, you're not making a lick of sense, and I need you to start explaining right now before something bad happens to you. Like what? Like, what did you lose, honey darling? And why did you try to blow us up? And I'm holding a hammer <laughs> above your head. That's a lot at once. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys attacked me, first of all, and... Very sassy. Uh, I'm someone who has average ankles, so... Did you just blow a hole in that building uh, back there? 
Maybe. <laughs> Why did you do that, Santa? <laughs> Have you really had a connection? We don't know what his name is. He uh, still has grabby hands, but he's not moving towards your pockets at this point because they're still <laughs> tied behind his back, so it's tough. Uh, he's like, I'm looking for a mail. You got it. I need it. Oh, oh. oh an L? I mean, that's <gasps> what you just talked oh, about. What? Who speaks Elvish? Does anybody? Um, Leia plays a half elf, right? Um, also, let me check. <laughs> do you not? I do, but I don't know where Doran is. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh that's right. He's not there. Oh, right, hold what? on. I thought we were gonna bring Gordon back. <laughs> yeah, you I want to leave it up to you. Stroll onto the scene and like casually adjust his pants <laughs> and be like, "Oh, I see you guys got the crazy rabid man under control." Uh, hold on, let me get to it. What's okay, up? Actually, I, That'd I be ideal. I yeah, because you're like a fucking wizard, right? You speak everything. Nice. Right, so but that and like my background with being a sage, like I've. Yeah. yeah. You've known some people. I, I speak common, uh, draconic, elvish, infernal, and orc. <laughs> so, so, so there's two of you I could just talk to without. So Doran doesn't need to come back yet. Doran should probably come back for party cohesion, so we don't have to metagame for just Doran like... to know what's going on. Also, I'm it was a quickie. Things. It's not gonna take you that long. Yeah. <laughs> a quickie with two people. Hell it's yeah. a doubly quickie. Yeah, it's a party. <laughs> just all right. <sighs> so. Those of you who speak Elvish will recognize that uh, Amel is the Elvish term for heart. Oh, that was what he was saying? I yeah. thought it was... I don't know. I so was it was he has heart? a little bit of an accent. <laughs> it's an accent? I thought that was just... Um, he right. didn't know how to speak. So, <laughs> Corvus, I'm still like holding him in place. And, I mean, just in common. She's not going to bother to kind of speak to him. Is he an elf? Or is that just the word... He's- Elf-like. Dora's over here <laughs> looking at this rabid old elf-like man, and he just goes, What kind of disease did this guy catch? <laughs> Bold coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted by Santa Claus, damn. Uh, Corpus kind of shakes him to kind of get <laughs> 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 Stop that! <laughs> Why does he keep making noises like that? He rattles. That's, <laughs> that's his rattle noise. <laughs> that's the sound of the rattle inside of him. <laughs> He's like a can of paint. Corvus says, Honey darling, you're still not making sense. What heart are you talking about? Out of my heart. They took it. They took my heart. I'm looking for it. How Wait. are you alive? She puts her um, fingers to his false point on his neck and tries to do it for her pulse. <laughs> It's weak, the fluttering, but it's there. <laughs> Honey, darling, you have a pulse. And I may not be a doctor of any kind, but my understanding is you cannot have a pulse without having a heart. You had to step closer to touch his neck, so he starts grabbing at your clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> she smacked one of his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not sounds of pain. <laughs> it's just, he's mildly annoyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking for it, and I haven't found it, so if you let me go... That'd be great. <sighs> Hun, you tried to kill me and I don't know, y'all aren't my friends, but these people I know. Bygones, let me go. And you blew that house up? Yeah, Why they're fine. You do that? Yeah, you're kind of an asshole. Why? How, how, do you do you know, do how do you know they're fine? You've been here with us the entire time. What heart sure are you that. looking for? No. <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that with your hands or something behind your back? <laughs> Then, because this is an audio format, Thanks. picture the Italian hand sign gesture with both hands in front of Feral Santa's face while his hands are tied. Apparently. He <laughs> reties his hands. He just has two extra arms that he was keeping in storage. <laughs> we make a magic spell just for that. Hell yeah. Emphasis hands. You can only use them for emphasis. You can't grab or touch anything. An only. altered mage hand can't grab. <laughs> but the sound of you guys... Fighting and arguing and tackling people has summoned at least one person from around the corner <laughs> who's heard you and sees y- you guys and also Feral Santa like <gasps> Santa Claus. <laughs> Step softly. <laughs> what is this person doing? Has now stumbled into the alleyway. <laughs> see me just holding a Feral Santa. Uh, they seem shocked and bewildered. Like, you know that's Step Softly, right? That's a hood of what? Step Softly. The the he's an. It's an urban legend. My brothers used to tell me when I was a kid. 
Guys, we caught a myth! Hell yeah. Uh, do, honey, do what I get honey for this? What is a step softly? He's, uh, breaks into people's houses and he eats their hearts? Step softly? Uh, you know, you tell it to kids to tell them to not go out at night, because step softly will eat your heart, something like that, you know. I'm even can more we kill that. him? Can we I don't him? think you can kill- he's not supposed to be real. Uh, honey, so I know you kind of just stumbled into this mess here, but, uh, this crazy batshit dude here was complaining that someone stole his heart. Oh yeah, that's that steps awfully. And I uh, I checked his pulse. It's not very good. Yeah. So okay, you guys <laughs> didn't get told about steps awfully. I no. no. My okay. parents are dead. Oh, <laughs> mine too. I'm now insane. I feel really bad. <laughs> I've been well, displaced uh, from my home plane. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, this legend I was told when I was a child is true. Who are these random people? And just like tries to engage in conversation and just gets the most tragic shut down. All from my friends all of are it. dead. All my friends are dead. <laughs> like, dude, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like, didn't your parents tell you this when you were a child? They died when I was yelling. It's like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Uh, sorry about that. In which case, uh, <laughs> well, uh, so Steph Softly was like a shepherd, right? And he. And welcomed some people into his house, and they were travelers, right? And so he, like, let them share his fire, and he gave them food like you do, because you're supposed to welcome travelers into your house. And they came, and while he was sleeping, robbed him blind, right? And so they took all of his stuff, but then they weren't done. They went, ripped his heart out of his chest, still beating, and made off into the night with it. When Step Softly woke up, he follows them out, but he loses their tracks like he was tracking them. In the snow. And then he wanders around eating other people's hearts. That's what he does. Fail Santa. Yeah, he struggles against you and says, it didn't happen like that. All right, honey, then tell us your story before you get in trouble here. You're already kind of in some trouble. Crip's going to lean in and uh, interject with, uh, if we can fit up with him, get to kill him. I'm on board with killing him. I mean, honey darling, I'm not going to stop you. He kind of tried to kill us first and blew up that house. So if you want to kill him, I'm not going to be a part of it. But you can shower off the blood at my house if you need to later. <laughs> uh, Feral Santa, or Step Softly more accurately, looks at you somewhat incredulously between Corvus and Kriv. Just like, are you guys for real? <laughs> but he says, I don't r- remember a whole lot. But it didn't happen like that. Yeah, uh, I don't... I don't think I killed anybody. Not positive, though. Uh, well, that sounds like he killed somebody, so we're I... just crib here if you want to do the honors. No, don't kill him. I love him. Look at him. Look at him. Also, I mean, I can safely say I've never killed somebody. If my buddy crib here walked up to me and asked if I killed anybody, I would not have to be like, no, but I can't be positive. <laughs> I could safely tell him no. So, what do you remember from your side of the story, Honey Bunches? I remember <laughs> it was cold, and I had my sheep, and I was looking for someone. They'd taken something from me, and he... As he continues talking, he actually starts slipping farther and farther, using more and more elvish phrases and terms, to the point where anyone who does not speak elvish starts getting a little bit lost. So not me. Yeah, so not you, and not... Doran. Me. Doran. Everyone else is just like, ah, yes, he's saying words, I don't understand them. Mm. I was tracking something, I was looking for him, and it uh, got dark, but I followed him, and uh, I followed him here. I'm looking for, I'm looking for my heart, they took it. Is that why you blew up somebody's house? They startled me. <laughs> oh, great, that's such a great reason to blow up somebody's house. You know, when I get startled, I usually just shriek. Yeah. I don't blow things up, I just... Shriek so loudly that whoever startles me has to put their hands over their ears. Then I can usually make my escape, but... Well, you startled me, so maybe I kill people when I get startled. No, no. Oh. That'd be valid. Corvus <laughs> points at Doran and says, Honey, darling, he also has fireballs, and you don't see him. I saw him get spooked when he saw, like, a little piece of light on his shirt earlier. He did not then blow up all of our people. That he was... kind of just screamed, like, very loudly, like he was saying he did. Yeah, he saw my whole dick. So... Oh, yeah, he screamed during that, too. <laughs> so, y'all, I personally think that we should show this feral Santa some nice holiday cheer. And Rune kind of steps in front of him and, like, it's holds her arms out. It's not near any holidays that I celebrate. Excuse me, but this is Santa Claus. 
The man, the myth, the legend. I thought it was Step Softly. This is Step Softly. It's Santa. Uh, Honey darling, you're right. He is the man in the myth and the legend, but not the one you're thinking about. This isn't. And yes, they also have S names. The last time I checked all the kind of legends I heard about Santa, he was a big old fat white human. Uh, not an elf. Who has very bony hips. I landed on them. That's not Santa. (laughs) You don't have all the facts. He's got bony hips. Santa does not have bony hips. That's not... Also, that stranger and she was probably <laughs> the only person. The other person pointed themselves. <laughs> Poor individual. You <laughs> don't have all the facts. Corpus points at this person and shouts to them. I don't know how far away they are, but she shouts. <laughs> She's on the ground. Is this here Santa Claus? Uh, I don't. I don't want to get involved in whatever yeah, your family is it thing. Fucking Santa Claus. I love him. <laughs> I'm gonna. And they dash away. <laughs> I'm going to turn to fucking feral Santa and reach into my pants and whip out my precious pants pebbles that I stole from him. Okay, the ones you stole from him, not your precious pants pebbles. Good specification. And give them back to him and be like, here. He's still got his hand behind his back. What are these? What are you handing me? It's, It's your precious pants pebbles that mean so much to you. This is a gesture of goodwill. Take them. I'm glad one of you has any decency. Uh. <laughs> is he talking to Corvus? He's talking to all of y'all. Door is just <laughs> off the corner, wheezing so hard. And Corvus is going to respond with, Well, at least we don't blow up strangers' houses because they startle us. Yet. Corvus also is going to tighten the ropes on his wrist. And Corvus is going to raise the war hammer. <laughs> He got one person who loves him, two people who are actively threatening him, and two people who are just kind of over here existing. And then that one stranger who ran away from everything. The expositional NPC, yes. Who never was named. Does he want his fucking pants pebbles back or not? Yeah, I mean, he takes them from you as best he can. His hands are bound. What does he grab them with? Yeah, he uh, grasps them in his hands, though they are behind his back, and... I guess they're kind of also between Corvus. So I'm sure you snuck them in. <laughs> sure. So you're going to let me go and let me, you know, look for my stuff yet? One, darling, it's a heart, not stuff. You can't just, it's not, you don't lose a sweater. You lost a heart, apparently. And no, blew up a house, and from the legend, you're going to go eat someone else's heart. I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to do that. That'd be fine. I just want to <laughs> find them. And do once what you find them. Take my heart back. How? I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> then I guess I'm going with you. Uh, I don't want a babysitter. Yeah, because grown ass men blow up people's houses when they get scared. Of you. Right. So uh, we kill Elvis, him. And Elvish, she's going to look at him, and she understands that only Doran is going to be able to understand her, but she trusts that Doran is not going to write her out on the threat she's about to make. And she says, now listen here, you little piss baby, poor excuse of a man. Oh. I'm not going to have you running around my town that I here live in just because someone stole a heart for you to potentially not kill them. You're not sure because you haven't thought that far ahead. So yeah, you're going to have a babysitter. Two. Two babysitters. I'm sticking with Corvus. Me too. You you can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> I, say, I, say it, I say it in but, Elvish. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Can we okay, please? Okay. Oh, we don't know what they're... Damn yeah, it. You just know Corvus is angry. <laughs> You're reading the body language? Oh, Not mind. a pep talk. I, my, what I'm saying has nothing to do with that. Can we please kill him? I don't think I ask your permission, but as long as it gets me where I'm going, I uh, guess I don't really care. Sure, fine, yeah, come with. Whatever. For a second, I was like, yes to being killed. Please specify if it's to the being killed part or then, like, having a babysitter because you did not. And I was like, yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah, fucking kill me. I don't care. That's my reaction. I have no idea what he said, so. No, he he speaks, like, kind of. Yeah, you're right. He probably wouldn't have translated to common. <laughs> What's he saying? She ignores Corvus for a minute. You're uh, Cor- uh, Corvus. <laughs> Damn. She ignores room for. <laughs> well, I'm so unselfish. Uh, darling, your wrists aren't coming unbound until I make sure you're not going to do any more damage to my town or damage to the people that live in it. I mean, unless you want to, like, kind of kill my neighbor. At that point, I can, like, turn a lot of eye to that because they keep. Screaming at my cats when they see my cat in the window. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut you there. I, I really don't care. And he takes his hands out from his bindings. 
<laughs> because <laughs> Griff is already raised, ready to hit this guy over the head with the Warhammer, can I just hit him? Do, do I need to roll initiative? Is Rune still standing in front of him? Uh, you're pretty close by, but I don't feel like is. you can push me out of the way. No. And sure, you can whack him over the head. You can pull up his stats again. But I was trying to protect him. <laughs> you didn't do a good job. God <laughs> damn it. Guess I love how you're willing to protect steps. spiders, but step softly is where you draw the lot. He blew up somebody's house, okay? Yeah. Didn't Waffles kidnap us? <laughs> Okay, but actually, we never did oh. figure out how we got into that house. Like, did Waffles kidnap us? What happened? Uh, or is that just game stuff we haven't found out yet and you don't want us to metagame? Wa- Waffles kidnapped you guys. Oh. What? I knew I knew that. You, I knew that but he didn't know what he was it. doing. This guy actively knew he was blowing up somebody's house just because he got startled. That's that, different. That's not saying that Aladdin didn't he's... know what he was doing when he stole the bread. And okay. Yeah, he needed to de- eat, but he yeah. knew what he was doing. We're um, going to have to revisit the waffles thing at a later date, but anyway. Yeah, you rolled an 11 to hit. Okay, cool. Is that plus anything, or just 11? Uh, it would be plus strength. Which is a plus 4. So it's a 15. 15 that hits. Cool, and then... <laughs> 2! Hell yeah. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> he looks more really, really annoyed by that than anything. Probably. But yeah, he's... Oh, what was that for? I don't care, actually. No, just... Whatever. And he puts his fingers in his mouth and whistles. It's shrill and echoes down the alley. Yeah, the alleyway and waits there for a second. And you hear, glump, 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 glump. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds threatening. <laughs> glump. <laughs> yeah, it's some glumping sound. Can I ready a, a, an action? Like, I'm just like, I just want to, like, ready shocking grass and just, like, have, like, electricity. Yeah, you can do that. Can I? I'm, like, a startler. Sure. But, like, not actively startled, more like, oh, no. Not like I'm gonna shock I'm ready everyone in sight, but yeah. can just like, Crip, oh no. like take the warhammer and like go with it with both hands over top of his head and like pin him back with the warhammer to like hold him in place by his neck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's what I'm doing right now. Then. Careful. He's <laughs> like, I whacked you with this, and now I'm just gonna strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, first you don't succeed. <laughs> From down the alley, you hear the galloping of. It sounds like about four sets of hooves. It's, they round the corner and it's two gigantic rams. They've got black fur and it glistens and shimmers a little bit in the, Aww. what time of day? It was like before noon, so late morning light. They have, Pretty sheep. Yeah, they have forward facing eyes and fangs. I love Pretty that. sheep. How yeah. difficult would uh, it be to break got, Feral Santa's neck? Uh, would that be a strength roll or? Uh, as soon as Corvusius is coming, she's getting the fuck out of the way. She fucking uh, like, dips around and Which is and then probably the also good because they've got wide uh, spiraling horns that are black and rough like cast iron. Yeah, Dorn also gets out of the he's way. He's going to jump yeah. up and fly a little bit. Kriv is going to use Feral Santa ten as a uh, body shield. Ten Corvus feet grabs over. Rune's arm and like pulls her with her <laughs> around the side of the building. Kind of just like... Also, is- because she was, like, the closest person who wasn't Feral Santa. So you she's just saved like, me! Thank you! <laughs> yeah, they stop before running anybody down, but they mostly stop in front of Feral Santa, and therefore Kriv. Uh, they just wait patiently in the alleyway. It's a little bit tight for them, but they're mostly fluff. Again, how difficult would it be to break Feral Santa's neck at this point? Uh, I'm not positive. Probably not super hard. Would it be like a strength roll? Yes. And I mean, everybody's moved, so they're not close enough to stop me. Can you try and murder the NPC who's trying to give you a quest? Uh, Yes. That would be murder, because he's He just wants to bug it off. At this point. Yeah, but he, like, blew up so... You could just murder the NPC and we could have two ram pets. Ooh. I mean, I like animals. <laughs> can I run up to the rams and be like, Fluffy! Yes! And pet them. You can. Do you have, like, animal handling or anything? Should I roll? Then I can't do anything. So, no, you can just go up and touch them. Fluffy, I love them, you guys. They're so friendly. I give them some of my rations. Wow. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, they, they nibble on that. They seem to appreciate your... it. Smoked meat. Yeah. Oh, they totally eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. terrifying. And forward-facing eyes, Caleb. Terrifying. I would die for that. You might. <laughs> but what would y'all oh like boy. to do? Assuming you're not gonna murder steps off. I'll hold it off for the moment. <laughs> Just like property destruction, death sentence. 
<laughs> this is why I'm not a politician. So what are we doing? Well, I'm cutting these ram things. Well, if your friend wants to let me go, we can Leak. head off. Leek rolls his eyes at Rune. Where exactly are you heading off to? Um, not positive. I was just gonna kind of hop on the sheep and go. That's a really fucking bad plan. <laughs> Well, maybe so, but also, uh, that's what I got. They've taken me here, so I think we're going the right direction. And what if I say no? What if I said fuck you? What if I broke your neck? I wouldn't say I'm not I wish how sassy he is. How about we go on the assumption that you're not gonna murder me? Does it count if I don't remember if I did or not afterwards? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Leak. Let's out like a cackling laugh. <laughs> nice. I don't know what I want to do with this ram, and I don't know if I want to kill him, but I'm metagaming. Are we going on a sleigh ride, y'all? Are we gonna hop on? Are we gonna get the sleigh, or is it just get on cheap? the rams and no. help Ferrell <laughs> find his item? Or can I go meet my new friends? We're going on a road trip, Doran. Everybody on the sheeps. I'm only going if I have permission. To off him at any point, he's a threat. That's valid. No. Doran's gonna get on the sheep. Crib's valid. You're outnumbered, Rune. Fuck. <laughs> Rune is gonna get on the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> there are two of them. We're just gonna have That's party fair. members riding these uh, coolish Leek vampire sheep. He's going to keep flying, so there's no point in. Doris ah. is also on board. She also gets on the ram. <laughs> like how you just invited yourself onto his steeds. <laughs> I followed the rest of my party. I was the last person to get on the sheep. <laughs> Grim. Grim is gonna follow the group, but yeah. also like keep uh, Feral Santa like underneath of his warhammer. Like I could, I could throttle you right now. Like don't try anything, my dude. We all got on the Rams before Feral Santa. <laughs> These are our sheep now. Oh yeah. Honestly, Rune fed them, which means they're ours. <laughs> yes, that's what. My that character means. is flying, so that's not an fair. issue. I can carry this dude. He's this scrawny homeless guy. No, he steps softly. Step well, he's gotta be skinny if he can step softly. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So Is that how that works. Crib and step softly are beside the sheep, and Leek is above the sheep, flying, <laughs> and everyone else is on the sheep. <laughs> Glad we know our sheep position. <laughs> Just want to make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. I have Is that where you plan for us to be? All right, uh, it takes a moment for the sheep to figure out that that's where you guys are going and that we're supposed to go now, because generally they have one person and they go, <laughs> but there's a lot more people now. <laughs> but they figure it out. I would die for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, the sheep are good. Step softly is bad. Yes. <laughs> that's how Criff works. <laughs> well, uh, in which case, they bound off in gigantic leaping strides and... They, they quickly bound out of sight, but if you run in their direction, they're waiting for you Criv and Step Softly to catch back up. They're like cute little doggos. Mm -hmm. It's just like NPCs in video games, and they just take off, and like you go dick around, and like you catch up, and, and they then wait. they take off again. Yeah. It's literally like that. <laughs> they occasionally jump up uh, onto rooftops and across streets. Other people don't seem to yeah. notice them, or you guys on them. They they, they notice Criv calling a homeless man. <laughs> You follow him for like an hour. He takes you way the hell across town. Up the hill quite a ways. You've gone through, you've passed the colleges and are in, it looks like residential section predominantly. They stop in front of a house. It looks very much like the other buildings on the street with wide gray slatboard sides and a black shingle roof. It has a patch of clover growing in front of it that forms somewhat of a yard. Uh, it's just beginning to bloom in the early spring. The two rams stop and let you guys disembark. I stay on the sheep. <laughs> okay. I give them a pat goodbye and I assume follow the rest of the party. I feel like very I'm going to land on the roof. Okay. Kathunk. <laughs> I can land softer than that. Are you step softly? You land no, softly? No, but he is pretty small. We'll give it to him then he can land softly. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you probably could. Doran's going to get off the sheep and take a couple steps and just be like, ah, growl. Right. Griff is going to um, stumble up from the rear because he's slow, because he's dragging Feral Santa with him up to meet the rest of the bulk of the party who is, I guess, approaching the house, aside from Corvus. 
Wait, yeah, everybody's in front of the house. And well, you're all in front of the house, but like the other house. people appear to be approaching the house, whereas Corvus is just like, sheep. Yeah, okay, you're sitting on the sheep. Yeah. You're sitting on the roof. The house. To be fair, Corvus is tired because she was thrown onto a rooftop and then she jumped off of a rooftop. Now you've been on a gigantic, leaping, bounding creature for an hour. Yeah, and their fur is soft and she just wants a nap. Val. <laughs> That's fair. What would y'all like to do? Whatever. What is Feral Santa doing? Does Feral Santa, like, go inside or what? He's still being wrangled by Kriv. Does so, he uh, he's not pleased, but he hasn't been the whole time. He's just kind of given up. Corvus is going to call out to Kriv. She's still just, like, laying full on the sheet now. She, she's chilling. But she calls down to him and says, Honey, darling, we need him to lead us in this house, so you're going to have to let him go for a minute. But there's more of us than there are him, and I'm here on the sheep right now, so they're not exactly going anywhere with him. So Kriv go. is gonna kind of shift the warhammer a little bit so he can make eye contact with Feral Santa. Maybe like kind of lean over since he is significantly taller, and just kind of <laughs> then like slowly lift the warhammer and let him have enough space that he can walk away, not comfortably. He'd have to duck a little bit. But how mighty kind of you there. <laughs> sass. Sass, his sass, man. His sass after being dragged for an hour. Yeah, I think that he's pretty valid in that. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to be sassy after you get drunk. No, anymore. obviously you would be stranger exhausted. who came out of nowhere and threatened to kill you. Probably be exhausted after being dragged for an hour. All <laughs> surrounded by other strangers who also threatened to kill you and have said they're okay with the they're other like, killing Yeah, you. that's fine. I am You're protecting valid. him. No one else is. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, rolls up to the front of the house and grabs the doorknob. Rattle, 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 rattle. Blocked. Does he move the handle? Crib would like to kick the door down. Okay. Like, jump him out of the way and kick the door down. I see we're not picking the lock. Valid. Uh, or we're we're the door knocking or like... <laughs> no, Crib wants to kick the door down. I'm not going to look around. Pick a lock. Like, it's one of his skills. Kriv knows that I can do yeah. this, too. So. I know that. He just has a lot of anger to get out. It's like, I'm making a character choice. Uh, is that plus strength? Mm, yeah. 19. Cor- Corvus is also, at this point, going to get off of the sheep, but she's staying by the sheep. So, Kriv would like to thrust Feral Santa out of the way and kick the door in. <laughs> you take one arm and you just shove Feral Santa and take, wham, you kick the door and it flies open. It kind of shatters some of the frame. Oh, fuck. Uh, Crib is going to kind of, with his hands, gesture towards the open door for Feral Santa and continue following him. Feral Santa dashes inside. Uh, Crib's also going to follow. Okay, so it's Crib and Rune going inside. Well, and Doran's just going to, like, stroll in after them. Like, <laughs> okay, I guess we're going inside now. Perception on buildings is for losers, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yep. Corvus is hanging back by the sheep. Okay. Um. Leak, staying on the roof. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you, I suppose, Rune, Criv, and Feral Santa, uh, find yourself in a... It looks very much like a residential layout. It's got, you know, the walls that form Didn't living Dorn room Did Dorn come in, too? Yeah. Oh, so and Dorn, Dorn, sorry. Yeah. yeah, four of you. But it looks like it's also been stripped somewhat aggressively. Like, the walls and stuff are still there, but all of the furnishing that you generally find there is somewhat lacking. You find the room that it enters into probably used to be a living room pretty empty. It looks like it's got some chairs scattered about. There's a hallway that leads off onto the left and nothing else in the room that you can see. Okay, I would like to roll perception for any noises or signs that there is someone in the house then. Me too. Alrighty. Because I'm stupid, but not like a rock. A literal rock. Corvus picks up oh, some grass no. from the ground and feeds Are you a literal rock? I'm a literal rock. I've got a five. Oh, that's Corvus not Corvus picks up some terrible. grass from the ground and feeds it to one of the sheep. Um, it's, clover. it's clover. They don't prefer Checking. it. It's not clover. What? It's grass. It's grass wait, wait, now, but they don't prefer it. Wait, wait, wait. What kind of sheep don't prefer clover? The she kind of eat her sheep. The kinds that eat meat, My Caleb. My eat grass. Um, so I rolled a... 15 for perception. Do I add any modifiers to that? Yes. Perception is... Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Because I, I rolled a 14 for perception. I got a 20. 
Cor- nice. Corvus you can see co- like sounds. Sex, uh, they prefer You that. can see sounds now. <laughs> she feeds all of her smoked meat to the two sheep. Let the sheep be my friends. They're not your enemies. Let them be my friends. That's my animal handling. I want them to be my friend. I have animal, animal handling as a um, specialty skill. Oh, and also, so. when I said that they were giant sheep, I mean they're like six feet tall at the shoulders. Oh, yeah, I they're figured, huge. I, figured you I was thinking like them. <laughs> bigger than average. <laughs> like giant sheep. Uh, how carefully do you want to search around? No, you didn't roll perceptions. That's right. Yes, and it sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, should, I, I got a 20. 20. Yeah, Kriv? Like, you're not even sure where you are, necessarily, with a perception like that. Everything seems totally fine, honestly, to you. It's quiet. There aren't other people here. Doran rolled 14? Yes. You can tell that someone's been here fairly recently. You'd say yesterday, maybe even the night before. Okay. Rune, you got a 20. 20. You can tell that four people came here last night for certain... And you can hear noises coming from downstairs. Ooh, I pointed out to the rest of the party. Yay. I'm still with the sheep feeding them smoked meat, so... <laughs> That's very valid. What, how would you like to proceed looking around the rest of the house? Well, we should check out the noises, probably. Like, I, I assume I kind of motioned, like, to... The what is voice. Feral Santa doing? Is he saying anything? Uh, no, he's, he's rummaging around and stuff. What stuff? There's, like, some chairs here. <laughs> yeah, he left. Where did he go? <laughs> what? <laughs> he left to rummage around and stuff. It's all the perception you didn't have, Chris. I was gonna say I'm not even gonna argue because it's because Chris is a dumbass and that's my fault. <laughs> There's one hallway and she went there. Okay. Chris <laughs> is going to follow down that hallway. It doesn't even lead to a room, it's just a hallway. <laughs> Who built this house? <laughs> Someone that's very bad at the sim. <laughs> is there anything blatantly obvious that's pretty that Doran can take, because if not, Doran's just going to, like, follow Kriv. I would also like objects and items. Okay, so exploring the main level of the house, it doesn't have an upstairs, it's a single story from here, you find, similarly, several rooms are, they're mostly stripped, but there's one that has a big table and a ton of maps, there's one that looks like it's a library, and there's a kitchen that looks like it hasn't been modified that much. Okay, maps. Yes. You're going to have to give me more than a big hand gesture. gesture. Not real format. Hand gestures were made. <laughs> Did Rune let me in late? No. That there were noises in the basement. Or... Y'all are outside. How many yeah. maps? I'm on the roof. You... You're still outside. <laughs> I'm not going back outside. So okay. no, you don't know. Any... So I'm still just with it. Unless I hear some like... Sounds of help we're in danger. <laughs> yes, Leah, what are your, your questions about the maps? Doran very dearly just wants to take all of the maps. Okay, there's five displaying different things. Some of them are regional. Some of them look like they're maps specifically of rivers. One of them doesn't look like a map you're familiar with, but it has a bunch of lines drawn on it, so it's probably a map. Yeah, I'm just taking all the maps. Yeah, there's t- several maps. They have some markers on them. You should just take them. Poking around the level, though, you do find several objects. You find a number of carved wooden sticks. They look like they have some images. Rabbits and dogs, mostly. It looks like a hunt scene. How big are they? Most of them are in the one and a half to three foot range. What like, are they for? You're not sure. Like for hitting people? Like for bogging people over the head? I mean, it's a three foot long stick. You can't use it for that. History roll, At maybe? caning. Who takes the sticks? You could roll, um, honestly, whatever you want. History, me, probably wouldn't be the best roll. I think investigation or insight. Sure. I'm just going to go with Kriva's dumbest roll because it doesn't care about a stick. That's like pretty pictures. I mean, you, you found see other things, Pretty too, pictures. So. Mm-hmm. Just, just pretty cool. I'll 15 tell you. for insight. You suspect that these are religious items of some sort. I put them in my bag. <laughs> cool. You've done investigating the sticks. You find a <coughs> locked chest. It looks like it's its not huge. It's big enough to carry around under your arm. And a number of letters. Some of them are open. Some of them are closed. And a black stone statue of a hound. I take all of it. The, the, the stone statue's almost life-sized. I take the rest of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Specifically the chest. Alrighty. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm gonna... Figure out where Feral Santa is and what he's doing. He's rummaging in the kitchen for silverware. He's just grabbing anything loose and shoving it in his pockets, basically. 
Doran's going to wander back into the kitchen and, like, stare at this <coughs> feral Santa for about two, maybe three minutes. Just, like, stare at him as he rummages through things. And then just be like, I thought you were looking for your heart, not your eating utensils. <laughs> yeah, but it's around here somewhere. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's definitely your heart you're putting into your pockets. Yeah. They'll come in useful later, probably. I wonder what's in this locked box, and I'm going to join them in the other. Alrighty, so everyone's in the kitchen? No. Well, Everyone except, except the people who are outside? Krupp is going to respond to Rune with a, I can break that open for you if you want. That yes. might be the heart, maybe, I'm just saying. Otherwise it would be something shiny, I'm sure. Well, if it is something shiny, I claim it. Krupp would like to, if Rune will let him, take the box from their hands and put it on the ground like... Sideways, so that like if you were to open it, it would open out like a book and not like a chest opening up, and like slam the end of his foot down on the side where, like not where the hinges are, but the other side to like pop it open. Okay. But not to like smash the contents of what's inside of it. He's trying to like squish the lid specifically. I'm trying to break it open. But okay. Not smash like, the chest. Just kind of pop it. Okay. Yes. Roll strength. 18 with a plus four, so 22. (laughs) Hell yeah. Heck yeah, that, okay, so you smash the box a little, you're not positive it'll close again, but it does open, which is really the important part. Cool, what's in the box? It contains a fair number of gold, several diamonds and rubies, and that's it, 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 just tons of gold. Like (gasps) Rocks. I grab some rocks, and then I look at Doran. Chris grabs the gold. (laughs) And I'm like, Doran. And I get out one of the diamonds. How many diamonds were there? Non-specified number. I get out one of them, and I get out one of the rocks that I stole from past adventures, and I'm like, I would like to apologize for (laughs) breaking into the bathroom as an apology gift and a gesture of goodwill. I would like to give you these rocks. Doran just, like, looks at Rune and looks at the rocks and looks at Rune, and he's like, that's a really good method of apologizing. Apology accepted. And he just takes the rocks. I mean, I know Corvus isn't there, but <laughs> I'm more upset that you've now apologized to Doran for breaking into the bathroom than for robbing you while you let yeah, them for stay at your house. Me. Listen, <laughs> we have to get to that part. Yeah, Corvus just outside feels wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong in the you. <laughs> nah, she's completely enthralled. She's gonna talk to Leah. <laughs> Uh, and she's going to kind of call up to the roof and say, Honey Pot, I don't really hear them doing anything in there. And they haven't really come out here to let us know what's going on. Um, I think we may want to go check on them to make sure, you know, that feral Santa kind of did it. And she makes a stabbing motion because this is an audio <laughs> format. Don't you have a message? Yeah, but you guys They're trying to get the party together. Also, let you them guys can't communicate with me like that. I can just communicate with you. Yeah. So it would be like if I just threw notes at you, or like I sent you a bottle, like like, a message in a bottle. You can't then like be like, oh, return to sender. Anyway. I'll go oh, yeah. check Join it. Us. Regardless, well, yeah, you have to go inside eventually anyways. No. Please. Okay, but she. <laughs> you don't technically have to, but it would be advantageous Is there to. a chimney? No, actually. Aw. I'm on the <laughs> like, I'm Santa now. <laughs> Is it surprise, just babe? <laughs> just imagine being a little kid, like seeing him, like it's Santa, and you just hear like Burn noises on the room. He was talking to me about the party. Yeah, I've already said my piece. I've already um, spoken to him. All right, Kriv is going to. Uh, I don't hear what? anything inside either, so I might, we might as well. Kriv is going to communicate to Corvus and Lee um, what Rune heard, which was, or like what Rune perceived, which was. Other people were here, and also there are noises downstairs. Once they come inside, I assume? Yes. Yeah. In which case, congratulations, your party's all together now. Yay. How would you like to proceed? With gusto. I missed you so much. And I go up to Corvus and I hand him one ruby, or her one ruby. (laughs) 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 And I'm like, I would like to apologize for trying to steal your crystals the other day, but now I have some crystals and I will share them with you because I'm a nice person. (laughs) Doran in the background, he's just like not out loud. He's just thinking, that's a less nice apology. <laughs> Guess I'm the special one. <laughs> and just because you were exposed to her, she's like, I apologize. 
Although, to be fair, also, oh no, Corvus well, apparently was a very eyes, nice dick. Apparently, it was horrifying. If it deserved more apology. Yeah, like someone tried to steal from me, and I can't prove it. But you flash someone, and you're like, here are two rocks. So, wait. There's the is the box of gems still like open on the table? There are no I gems. Assume there's nothing in it. Yeah, yeah, I grabbed all. There's an empty we box. Have two gems. We popped it open like a Kinder Egg and <laughs> stole the goodies before both of you got in the house. <laughs> like a pinata. <laughs> did you guys split them or did Rune claim them all? Rune took all of the stones. Crib took all of the gold. Doran actually took some of the gold. Oh. <laughs> well, you didn't say that, did you? You might have been sneaky. Shh. Shh. Crib. What? He took all of it. is slow and rolled a perception of five, so we're going to say, yeah, that's valid. Crip doesn't even know who Crip is at this point. <laughs> Corvus kind of looks at the rocks in her hands, and, like, she hands them back to Rune. What? And she says, honey, I'm going to give these to you as payment to never try to fucking steal from me again. Do you accept that, honey? I was trying to do something nice for you, and you're throwing it back in my face. Yeah, but I'm giving you these shiny, shiny rocks back, and she holds them, like, right in front of Ruben's face. They are very beautiful, but I was trying to do a gesture of goodwill. I'll keep the rocks, then, and she starts to move no, them no, in her no, pocket. No, 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 I'll take, I'll take them, thank you. <laughs> are we at an understanding in the party, then? Yeah, I think we're all No fine. stealing Wait. from each other. So... Or flashing. Did or I flashing. see them passing around rocks? Maybe we just say no stealing from each other. At least, like, it's just like, nah, I don't feel like it. At this point, I would like to mention that inside of my cloak there is a pocket in which I keep all of my items. And in order to steal from me, you would have to go inside of my cloak to get. Uh, I would like to canon- canonically state that. Several of Corvus's pockets just have pocket sand in them <laughs> to, oh, no, to, to discourage things. Dora did the same thing. All of his outer pockets are just full of <laughs> river pebbles. It's just smooth pebbles. Why right, do people pebbles? like this? I have one. Two of her pockets on like her robe are just pocket, like her outer just pockets sand. are just pocket sand. She still treasures this pocket sand and would be upset if someone stole it. But it's not, it has no monetary value. Yes, yeah, my most precious items are under my balls. <laughs> what? That's where they are. Family jewels. Yes. No. Mm. They're Why there. Is this a problem? I don't Just want y'all to steal from me. Suspicious. That okay. sounds but, really uncomfortable. But also, though. are you you're okay. the bard of the Wait, wait. How, how would that be comfortable to have... We're all have good here with where everybody's gym is on. <laughs> so, Caleb, you were asking if you could see people transferring Yes. Them. I mean, Corvus kind of held them right in front of yeah. Rune's face, so, so I don't probably, kind yeah. of... Like, so, this. yeah, you so, probably saw them. Where are my gems? You don't know that these are new gems. Corvus turns to look at and? Lee and says, Well, honey darling, I haven't caught you trying to steal from me yet, so in my opinion, I don't need to pay you to not steal from me yet, because you're a tiny little bird man, so if you steal from me, I will break your brittle bones. I still don't understand why everyone else keeps gems, and I don't... You don't know everyone else has gems. I know. You know that they have gems. I know. Corvus reaches into her He's pocket. He's just being salty. That's right. And she pulls out, not a small um, sapphire, but like... Ooh. It's not polished or anything. It's not like super fancy. It's just like a sapphire. She kind of just digs it out. And she holds it out to him and says, Honey, would you like this sapphire? Yes, I I definitely would like that sapphire. She hands it over and says, "That was my last fucking gem." Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that was so kind of you. It's like I complained about this thing, and now I'm going to be happy. It was the last one you ever owned. I'll trade you a ruby for that sapphire. How big is the ruby? Can I just? How big are the rubies? Uh, Crib is not really concerned with this conversation. What yes, is there Feral are Santa people doing? in this house somewhere. <laughs> what is Feral Santa doing right now? He has tra- moved over and he started scratching at the walls. He's moving slowly <laughs> along. <laughs> it's Feral Santa. Okay. Just kind of He's in like picking at them and sometimes knocking on them, listening. And then he'll he'll scooch a little to the side and continue scratching at them. Hey, sparkly gym pants. Aren't there people in the house? And what the fuck is this old hat doing? It, it should be worth noting that you haven't found any stairs yet. Oh, that's <laughs> worrying. How many floors is this house? Four floors. There are people below you somewhere. 
she has already told us it is a one level house. Yeah, That's there's probably. no upper floor. Trip is going to approach Feral Santa and say something like, What you up to, old man? Not sure. Just feels right. <laughs> Cormish joins him to try and help listen and see if she can find a secret passage. <laughs> Crib, that be investigation. Yeah. Crib would like to kick a hole in the wall. Doris okay. is just going to double check all the doors in the house. Double check how so. Just like make <laughs> just sure all of the door. Yeah, just go and open all the doors and make sure they don't lead to secret staircases and like actually the closets and stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, going through and looking through all the doors, they don't lead to any se- staircases that you can see. Uh, for uh, strength oh, for kicking a hole in the wall, it was a sixteen plus four. Sixteen plus four. So that's twenty. Wham! You punch a hole directly through the wall to the outside. <laughs> that was great. New door. <laughs> New front door. Uh, I got an 11 plus 5 for hey, investigation, so 16. Exits. Oh, right. <laughs> the size of a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easier to it's break through the really wall. small people. Apparently I'm a tiny bird man, so might as well. <laughs> My brothers are playing so, GURPS tonight, yeah. and one of their characters is literally Junior Asparagus from VeggieTales, so he's a 6 inch tall asparagus who uses telekinesis oh to God. move oh. anything. <laughs> Fantastic. But, um, you were investigating the walls? Yeah, with Feral Santa. Yeah, looking for secret doors, and you got a... 16. Yes. 11.5, 16. <laughs> looking around, you do discover, not in this room, but in an adjacent room, a <laughs> secret door. It pops open. You've got to kind of, like, if you push it in and it pops out the wall kind of thing. Find it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Corvus yells out, is Feral Santa in the room with me, or have I, like, broken off from him? I think you probably broke off from him. Alright, I'm gonna have poison spray ready, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to go into the door. Okay. Wait, we're Did... sending the wizard in first? Are you just I haven't told anybody, yeah. No, you in. make bad choices. Want yeah. to tell anybody? You know, just we're gonna leave the door open, you'll right. figure it out. <laughs> Alright, in which case, the stairway is narrow and descends... A little bit less than you'd expect one flight to actually do so. It enters into a very low-chambered room. It's dark and worryingly quiet, but you can see a flickering of lamplight. I also do have dark vision. Yeah. Just see. Can Doran, in wandering around the house and, like, looking for doors and making sure he knows where everybody is, like, find the secret passage? No, it's my door. You can find it once it's been opened, sure. Or okay. you can <laughs> in- have investigated so beforehand. I the door by- <laughs> You make really bad choices. No, I don't do that. I left the door open. Doran just, like, sees an open door, and he's like, Guys, there's a new door here. (laughs) And Corvus isn't here. (laughs) Crib is going to shuffle Feral Santa in front of him again as a body shield towards the secret door. I'm assuming by all of this going on, I'm probably already, like, down at the bottom of the steps. Yes. Because I was, like I said, I did not wait for everyone getting towards the, like, leaving, going somewhere, so I followed. Okay. (laughs) Do you want to just, like roll down the steps and be like, yo, what up, bitches? <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to say I've ran down the stairs, but I've just kind of like gravity do its thing as I'm walking down the stairs, so it's kind of fast-paced. I'm not like... A little bit of glumpage. Well, that, and like, more like a slight jog down the steps. All right. And like I said, I do have poison spray ready. <laughs> thup, 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 thup. Because I figured, especially that opening the door has made noise, and I know that others are investigating the house, and that someone... Well, you've seen the door stomping around and talking at full volume this whole time. <laughs> yeah, just been banging on the wall like, where the fuck is that door? Or maybe the like kicking the whole ass door in when we came to the house, or kicking a hole in the side yeah. of the house. It probably hurt something at some point, and we're like, hey, what the fuck? But so yeah, I'm at the bottom of the steps before anyone else comes in. This is my adventure. Exiting the stairs, it had walls on either side until the bottom. It opens into a room. It looks like it's partitioned partly by a wall that's been mostly propped up. It looks like it's roughly hammered together boards. The half that you can see that the stairs open into, you catch sight of a table and a couple oil lamps, but you are immediately whacked in the face by a club. There's four people down there. Oh, cool. (laughs) We're having a good time. I needed that day for work. That's, you get surprised on you, so I'm giving That's what Corvus would consider a good minute, time. I have a question. Yes. Um, Four people in a car. Were we able to take a short rest on the ride over? No, it was only an hour. How long is a short rest? Four hours, isn't it? I thought that's a long rest. Three? No, a long rest is eight hours. Y'all, 
I'm the only healer in the group, and I'm out of spell slots. Whoops. <laughs> Oof. Well, <laughs> we gon' die. I, I can stabilize people. That's good. <laughs> I will stabilize you in your stage of death, so we can revive you later. Is it 13 beat your armor class? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, you take six damage. What? Do oh, you have six hit points? No, but we rest in peace. <laughs> You have five, don't you? I didn't get to rest up. And yeah, I never none got of us rested. Healed. So, like, I have I six had five hit points, points left. left from the fight. <sighs> I'm at negative one hit point. Corvus is dead. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Wait. Well, good news is that the rest of your party is here, you know, a couple steps behind you. They caught up. And How? you're just like, so they're coming down the stairs, and but you see dead. you standing there, and a club Corvus comes out of dead. nowhere. <laughs> I'm dead. And you I'm not collapse. unconscious. Oh, no. You are watch me get well, fucking no. murdered. Technically you are dying. <laughs> You're not dead yet. Oh good. Mostly dead. Mostly dead. I'm just like, He's only half dead. <laughs> uh, I'd like everyone to, except for Corvus to roll initiative. Oh no. But Leah, what is your uh, initiative? Twenty one. Caleb. Twenty three. Ash. Eight. <laughs> Blake. Thirteen. Cool. So I'm guessing. Doran's down the stairs first. Yeah, Doran would be first. Yeah, because you were Leaf. close to the door. So, yeah, the yeah. so then, how close is this person to Corvus? Less. They are. They were hiding on either side of the doorway. <laughs> so, like, you saw an arm and a club just ram Corvus in the face. I'm gonna assume they fell back, like, on the steps, partially, probably. <laughs> just Blah. laid out. Probably should have, like, stopped at the bottom of the steps and, like, rolled him a face. So, magic missile, is that something I can direct? Or is it yeah. just... An- it's a targeted hit. So you can go around corners? Probably. Oh, I like- okay, I like to think like of them. You know how the missiles work in cartoons where, like, you have the missile POV and it swerves around stuff? That's how I like to think of magic missile. So, yes, it can do basically whatever. <laughs> also, I'm Within of- an extent, to a degree. It's like a... I'm also kind of on the ground. Wait, wait. <laughs> They can do simple how much, how much light is there that I can see in the room? Uh, it's lit well enough a human could see, and a half-elf, certainly. But, like, by a single oil lamp? I'm uh, there's a couple oil lamps, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, she said there were a few. Doesn't matter to me, because I had dark vision. Had being the key word that... <laughs> no, everything <laughs> is too dark. <laughs> everything is dark now. <laughs> and my vision will help. Hmm. What you looking for? I'm trying to decide what would be the best course of action. Oh, I would say magic know. missile is good. Yeah, yeah good you get like three missiles I have, on that. It, it, you do get three? Yeah. You get like three or four, I don't know. I think it's three, yeah. You get three and they, you roll three, separately right. for each of them. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. I would like to throw three. All right. Nice. Throw two at the person who just hit Corvus and one at the other side of the door because oh. why not? He's like, I have a suspicion. Yeah. For a second, I thought you were going to say that you also throw it on Corvus. No. Like, Fuck you. Add insult to injury, just make you dead on sight. <laughs> just have <laughs> your fucking okay. corpse is obliterated. So, what do I need to roll for that? Um, it should tell you. It's automatically hit because it's magic missile. Yeah. Oh, so, and just roll damage. 1d4 plus 1. Three times. So, first one, two. Second one is four. And the third one is three. So the first and the third, because like he goes one, two, oh wait, I have one left, three. <laughs> All right. So it's just like, oh, two, five, five, one. four, three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In which case you hear, ah, oh, and shit. <laughs> From both sides of the doorway. Everybody else has probably joined. Okay, are you going to just rush out the bottom of the stairs or are you going to try and fight? <laughs> In a narrow stairway, because you have options. Can we use Feral Santa as a shield and just throw him down the stairs next? That's, okay, I, never mind, that's not a question. Crip would like to push Doran out of the way and kind of thrust Feral Santa down the stairs. As, over are you, this into over the room. Corvus into are the room. Are you second in marching order? Yes. Okay, in which case, Please sure, you door. shove him down there and go... Stumble, stumble, stumble. And mm. there's uh, some commotion on either side. And a Quick question. People... Did he say stumble, stumble, stumble? Or did that <laughs> the sound that happened Please when tell he me he the said stairs? that. Was it just like when he opened the door and you said the door went round, round, round? I still just assume that he made that noise with his mouth. He was just like, <laughs> I think at this point it's been more confirmed that he just makes his own sound effects. He's like Krog, but a lot more feral than Santa E. I love him. <laughs> Sure, yeah, but side effect of being stepped softly is you may hear own sound effects. But, uh, yeah, a couple people dash out to try and engage Feral Santa. But, uh, 
<laughs> they don't, it's not their turn yet, so. <laughs> they can't. It's, uh, it's turn. Okay. And then it'll be. Yeah, because. Yeah. It's your turn. Hmm. You're in the back behind mm. Kriv and Norin. And Rune. Behind gonna... everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say different. Can you. <laughs> can... Can you even do anything? He's got. Can I even get through? For... Yeah, you could probably push past your comrades. I'd say your friends would probably move out. Of I'm way tiny. Way. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, can you, can you can crawl between speeches of reaction. Mm-hmm. Maybe stabilize Corvus. Perhaps <laughs> possibility. Before you know, people keep throwing other people over my corpse. <laughs> we just have a pile of dead bodies at the bottom of the stairs by the end of the episode. Everyone is dead. <laughs> end of <the> podcast. <laughs> but no, Caleb, what would you like to do? Um, let's see. Is how does stabilizing work? I want to say it's a medicine roll that you have to secede some kind of DC on. No, last time I let you just lay hands on them to stabilize them with a an action. <laughs> okay. I want to say just slap the elf back into them. Yeah. Take I want to stabilize her. Okay. In which case, congratulations, you're only dead now. Not negative dead. <laughs> so, uh, cool. I'm still dead. <laughs> you're unconscious. Dead. But all right. In which Wait, case, are, are that gets rid of the saves? negative points. They would on their next turn. Fuck. Yeah. Then what's the point of stabilizing? Oh, no, now that they are stabilized, they don't. They would have. Okay, Yes. good. I was worried. <laughs> they made their death save automatically. <laughs> Alright, Leah, you're next in initiative, but we let you go first because you were technically first on the stairs, so I'm going to skip you this round. Can Doran grab Corvus and start dragging them back up the stairs, though? On your turn. Okay. And no one has healing potions, right? <laughs> You don't give to those no, stones. You yet. have to go buy them somewhere. You said you were gonna throw them at us. Yeah, you said that you were gonna You haven't nice. bought things yet except some muffins. We should do that after have... this, y'all. Uh Blake, it's Crib's turn. Are there the two people who are attacking from either side of the stairs, are they visible? Uh yeah, you kinda know where they are at least. And they've... what are they doing to Feral Standard? Because they kinda just like <laughs> did they jump? It's not like... their turn yet. They can't do they anything. They can't do anything. They're, They're just, just like waiting. <laughs> we're in the <laughs> Um, technically you weren't supposed to be able to throw him yet, because it wasn't your turn. Well, actually, no, because you took a turn, Leah took a turn, Caleb took a turn, I'm just gonna make it Ash's turn, and then we'll just start first. Okay, that's fair. Actually, because I don't know what I want to do if I make a turn. Yes, Ash. So yeah, for my turn, I just chucked Feral Santa down the stairs. Well, what does everybody look like they're about to do, like the enemies? I think it's a safe bet that they're gonna attack you with clubs. Like, which ones? (laughs) Like... Well, which one is closest to Corvus? The one who whacked him in the face. Her. Okay. Her in the face, sorry. Well, I'm gonna go over and try to defend Corvus's dead body. <laughs> Unconscious. By using my longsword on that guy. Just reach around the corner. <laughs> and I got a 13. Alright, I'm gonna assume that you step off the stairs and step into the room like with a flourish and sure. turn so that you can actually look at them. A 13 does hit him. Ooh. Roll damage. I would love for my corpse not to be on the stairs anymore. <laughs> it's not, it's not a corpse turn, anymore. Two damage? Maybe. Yeah, out of a D8. Not well. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, he doesn't look like he's in good shape, though. He's, oh. like, smoldering from the magic missile. He's bleeding profusely from your longsword. He's, he's seen better days. You turn around and you can see that there are four people. They're kind of clustered around the doorway, and some of them look a little bit surprised that you're there, but mostly they were, like, ready to attack you. The one that you? Ash attacked is going to attack Rune. you, Rune, back, so... No. <laughs> baby. Just launch this off. You can't do that. Well, apparently I can't. <laughs> baby. He's bleeding way too profusely to do a whole lot of anything to you. Love that. The Hell yeah. Other Murder. Three. I'm just gonna count that. Ooh. Ooh. Does an eight hit you? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in which case... One of them lands a real solid hit on you with his club. Wait, I thought an eight doesn't hit me. They have a 20. Oh, uh, the other one got a 20. So two people are attacking me. There were four people in the room, and three of them missed you. Wow! Oh. One of them hit you with a natural 20. So yeah. all of them are attacking me. Yeah, because you ran down the stairs. You're what about Feral now. Santa? They just have Feral Santa. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, mm. in which case, you have a 50-50 chance right now of taking a lot of damage. Because that's going to be Can 10 I damage if it hits you. Okay, so I'm going to roll a die, and evens, it hits rune, odds, they were attacking Santa. 
Wait, so. I thought three of them already missed me. Yeah. I'd forgotten that Santa was there, so I'm going to go with half of them attacked you and half of them attacked him. So. What about me? He, he's he's not the in the room. He's still in the steps. Okay. So. Ooh. They hit you. No! Yeah. yeah. How many four. of them? Just one? Just the one. Okay. But one you take ten damage. damage. What? Do you yeah, have that was, damage? it was a critical hit. I don't think you had ten. I have eleven. Oh. So I'm at one no. hit point. <laughs> Oh, we're no. just gonna kill him. Of course, he's about to join me on this tap. All right, oh. Caleb, it's your turn. I'm going to attack the person with that looked like they were not doing good. All right, that is the same person that the room attacked, right? Okay, yeah, yes, yes, same person. I'm going to attack that person. Alrighty. And since Rune is very close, still, can I do a sneak attack? Yes. <laughs> you really don't like when I do the sneak attack, do you? It doesn't sound like that's how it's supposed to work. But I have not <laughs> had a chance to figure out. Um, enjoy the game. I, I, yeah. It's what it says. <laughs> yeah, no, but go um, for it. Fuck. It's a uh, 13. Yeah, that hits him. And yes. So All right, I'm roll gonna, damage. So I've got 10. You whip around the corner and your cloak flies around you and you look <laughs> stunning and you just <laughs> shish kebab him through the heart and he dies. He is very dead. He's not dead. <laughs> like, no, he was insta-dead. You he have, was, like, one he hit point left. Like Vanessa alone, but then you also kind of stabbed him in the heart, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, Leah, it's your turn. Doran would like to drag Corvus back up the steps. Can you also grab me? <laughs> Because I'm about to die. Are you still standing? Barely. I have one hit point. I can only grab one person at a time, and right now it's Corvus's unconscious body. I'm just imagining imagining you drag her up the stairs, just be like, thunk, 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 thunk. I just lose more hit points by the time. I can do it decently. I caught two handsome half elves before you dropped at me out a window. Yeah, that was like twenty feet. You're dragging me up a flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Are fine. you cradling the head? Going down is easier than going up. So you used your turn to move Corvus? <laughs> yes. Alright. Up the stairs. Wee. Into In which case, Blake, it's your turn again. So all of these people are pretty visible, right? Yeah, you know where they are by now. I wanna attack the one that was it Corvus or no? It was Doran that injured the one with magic missile. Yeah, it was Doran. The uh, one that yeah, because two of them were injured with magic missile. So I want to go for the second one. All right. With my warhammer two-handed, which is a D10 instead of a D8. Okay. Nine. That doesn't quite hit him. Great. A real near miss though. Ash, it's your turn. Oh, me again already? I believe so. Yeah. How do I avoid taking an opportunity attack? By, you know, you're disengaging? If I were to, how would I avoid that? You don't. I'm not sure. You're fast. You could probably get far enough up the stairs that, like, they'd have to follow you up the stairs to attack you because your move's 30 feet. You're not 30 feet from the stairs, and the stairs aren't 30 feet long. Okay, so, so no opportunity attack if I were to leave? I don't suspect so. Okay, yeah, especially with the leave. other party members. Yeah, they're also all, in, most of them are engaged with other people. Yeah, yeah, I think you've um, only got one on you. I go as far away from them as possible, and I try to take a rest. Like, real fast. <laughs> That's not how that works. We established that we each have, like, a health potion since at one point somebody was like, I'm gonna give them a health potion, and you were like, I didn't establish that, but okay, you all can have a health potion. Or... Wait, did we say that? If so, then... I think I might have technically given you... you all one. Yes. yes. I, thought you gave, I thought you gave Corvus two, and that was it. I don't remember, which is really bad, because I definitely did the editing for that. If I have a health potion, then I'm going to drink the health potion. Sure. Okay, everybody has exactly one health potion. Thank God. Gave yours to someone else. Corvus doesn't have a health potion currently, because... Corvus couldn't drink it anyways, because she's not yeah. <laughs> Okay, Doran is going to pour his health potion down Corvus's throat during his next action. Like, they're up in, like, the foyer. Okay, so, Ash. how many hit points do I regain if I drink the health potion? It's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. I promise I'll buy more health potions. <laughs> so 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. 4. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So I'm at 6 hit points, which is not too bad. So Less get dying. Face with the club. Is that an action? Yes. To use a health potion. Okay. Then I'm gonna... S- you can move and do an action. I think I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. In which case... Just up there at Thor and my lifeless body. That guy's dead. <laughs> just, I'm a chore right here. Yeah. 
The one that Kriv attacked is going to try and attack him back. Valid. <laughs> Does an 18 hit you? That against armor class? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In which case... That's one damage, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I thought it had a, what he hit me with? I thought it had a positive modifier, but what? it's the red wrong. The other two are currently engaged with uh, Feral Santa. <laughs> so <laughs> We're going to accidentally get Feral Santa killed. Feral kill. Santa. <laughs> see if they can... It's like... Ooh. Those both hit him, doing some damage there. Gonna I'm also going to take that one out of circulation. By using him as a shield, um, but it's do doing what it was So, doing. fun fact... But, uh, so like yeah, just... two of the acolytes are just wailing on Feral Santa, so... Oh, so that's what they are? Yeah, they're, they're technically acolytes. What are those? They're... What they are study those? under a priest. They're a religious-type person. What race? There are two elves, a human, and a half-orc. One of the elves is uncon... Well, one of the elves is dead. Mm. <laughs> dead half-orc. as dead. Yeah. Caleb, it's your turn again. Oh, I keep getting turns. I love how our party just never um, tries to approach anyone in a rational way. We're like, this person did something or existed. Let's well, kill to them. To be fair, they killed our party animals. member without it, saying anything. This is true. Like, they're just we, dead. You, break into their you house. broke into their house and they attacked you and you attacked them back. I mean, oh, that's this a pretty is their straight. house? I have not talked They're in the basement. Yet. Yeah, that doesn't mean In a, like, anything. weird secret chamber type thing. But the yard is clover and that's abnormal. So. Also, I did not attack anybody. I walked on some steps. And that died. has been stripped. They're probably, like, squatting or something. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> Maybe you could capture and question one There's of them if you don't. Wrong with that. Or the board. You could just seduce one. And <laughs> keep one of them alive. Caleb, what would you like to do? I am going to attack whoever looks most injured. Okay, that is the one that was originally on the left side of the door. Kriv is also engaging with that person, so yes, they, he is within five feet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I got a 22. <coughs> that hits him, oh, yes. That, that's a solid hit. Is it a oh, that's not what I'm rolling. No. I don't think no. so, no. I got a seven for the attacking. Jesus Christ. He's just He goes down. How are your attack rolls so high? It's, he gets an extra I, d6. I get an extra d6. What? I rolled a one with that d6, but I also, like, have a... It's because you it's have a, proficiency, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. He gets the extra d6 because he's sneak attacking them because of the proximity of other players. I yep. think you have the strongest attack out of anyone here. Probably. Well, technically, Criff can go into rage mode as a dragonborn. Oh, yeah, we'll also... And also at higher levels, has... you're going to get multiple attacks and start really crushing people. Oh, Let's yeah. See. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Because I remember that I mean, I would, that I would do a lot more was... damage if I would actually hit the people when I try to attack them, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Leah, it's your turn. So now can I pour oh, a health oh, potion oh. down? Yes. Okay. Okay. It gets up my nose and I choke. Three and four, so seven plus two is nine. Seven plus Back two is nine, nine points. so... Which, yeah, that actually gives me, like, a full health restoration. Good. God. <laughs> You're so fragile oh, oh. I'm like, wow, that was a headache. All right. It is Blake. It's your turn. I would like to try to attack this guy again and hopefully not miss, so I'm going to roll again for... Different guy, but you can definitely engage with one of them. Different the guy? guy you were engaging with got shish Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I'll turn to whoever the next nearest unfortunate victim mm-hmm. is and, yeah. Roll yeah. for two-handed. Nice. The war never. So there's two people left alive? Yeah, they're both trying to engage with Feral Santa. Do we get extra XP for killing people? <laughs> no, it's the same. I, I definitely really missed that time again. I've killed two people so far. It was which, that one. In, in which case, Ash, it's your turn. I mean, right. he probably has his head stuck on the ceiling. So. Yeah, yeah, you have to stand stooped. It's a low ceiling. How bad do both of the people come? They're totally fine. Oh. They haven't been hit yet. Yeah. Oh, shit. I guess I'm gonna remember, attack the closest one. Remember that you wanted to capture one of them? Yeah, but there's two left, and they're both at full, so... The other guy's also unconscious. He isn't not dead dead. The first okay. one was instantly dead. Like, you did negative his hit points. So, one of them is dead, one of them is unconscious, and two are fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit one with my longsword. I got an eight. That doesn't hit. Yeah. Alrighty. So... 12, 30, Uh, does a 14 beat your armor class, Ash? Me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Then 
You take. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm gonna kill. Two oh, damage. Two. Okay, oh, thank good. God. I have oh. four. So then it's their turn. I just fall to the bottom door. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In which case, let me cross out that you're not knocked out anymore. Yes. Yeah. The other one got nine, eleven. Did eleven beat your armor class crit? Blake. Oh uh, no. no. Okay. I In which case, already... a swing and a miss. Woo. I was going to say I could already tell you I'm a wizard. I have eleven. For my own class, that does not be if you're in class. <laughs> yeah, in which case... My turn? Dean, yes. Uh, I run back down. <laughs> <laughs> this worked great the last time. <laughs> Instant club to the face. <laughs> eight, eight points. Just dead again. Uh, Ready for round two. So, who is alive? Two people? Yeah, two people, and all of, most alive. of your comrades are around. Them. And question mark feral Santa? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they just kicked him a little bit. <laughs> Um, are they humanoids? Yes. I'm gonna fall, I want to stand still, because I can attack one and hurt one and probably kill it. Or I could charm it. Corvus is going to cast Magic Missile at the closest villain to her. Alrighty. I call them a villain, but like you said, we're in their house. But are Criminals. We are we really, though? <laughs> Alrighty. My god says I'm the good guy of this story. Oh, oh no. <laughs> So I miss everyone else is a criminal. Maybe we should try talking to them, like while we're fighting, and talking is a free action. Right? <laughs> like, hey, hey, how you doing today? Stab. <laughs> Why are you here? Just else? hit the magic missile. But no, magic missile. Go. I'm gonna do what Doran did earlier, and I'm gonna hit one with two and one with one. Alrighty. Um. So that's a D four plus one. Oh, uh, that's four. Mm-hmm. Three. Five. Shit. Hell yeah. Well, damn. So the first two are at the first person I, like, aimed it at, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, fuck you too, dude. Well, one of them's definitely dead, right? No, they're both still alive, but they're, they've are they been in better shape. <laughs> yeah, neither of them had any damage to them yet. Oh. Yeah. So that's why, like, last second she was kind of like, okay, yeah. Because she was like, yeah, this last one might kill this dude, but that dude's, like, fucking fine over there, so I'm gonna just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. In which case, yeah, one of them is in real bad shape from that, and the other one has definitely seen better days. Like he's feeling that. Good. It is Caleb's turn. The, the two people in. At There's kind of bad and c- has been better. Quick question: Which uh, one is I'm... which? Because I know I'm in front of one of them. Am I in front of the kind of bad or like? The mm-hmm. Let's go. Dying. You're in the how close? One who's a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack the one that. Blake is near, or Criv is near. Okay. Blake is not Criv. Although Blake well, is definitely right. Criv. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright. So. 14. Alright, that hits. Alright, and I'm going to with my rapier. Okay. What did you do? 13. <laughs> He's insta dead. What the fuck? <laughs> How are you our strongest party member? He just shits kebabs people. That's wild, man. So, I'm only strong when people are nearby the people oh, I want to attack. Oh, well. <laughs> well, so there's, cool. there's one Thank guy left, right? Yes. And he's kind of shitty. Yeah, he's not doing too hot. We should try to talk to him before we kill him. <laughs> you should say that in your character voice. <laughs> you should talk to him in your character voice. <laughs> Why are you attacking us? Can you not do that? <laughs> You broke into our building? Is this your building, though? Because it, it looks very suspicious to us. This is our temple, yeah. Why is it so <laughs> fucked up upstairs? I don't come into your house and judge you. Why are you guys hiding in a secret basement? <laughs> the whole conversation. <laughs> it's just so... Uh, we're just like, hey, up. we just killed all of your friends. No, let's have a pleasant conversation. Do you, guys, of your house. do you guys have a heart laying around here? Oh, for a stolen heart, are you sure? <laughs> like I'd tell you. Please? How long is the turn? I want to attack you again. <laughs> Does your Talk religion to have to do yeah, you with can't have a whole conversation s- sneak softly? Up real quick. And she says, Darling, what kind of temple is this if it's under a house? It is the temple of Tarmragath. <laughs> Does he say it like that? Very casual. Oh, well, it's... it's you, you see, it's the temple of God. We're <laughs> legally obligated to say it like that. Gestures towards the sky. Because <laughs> yes. it's audio format. 
<laughs> yes. Also, I think that free action only counts like if it's your turn, you can do it oh. without having to do an additional thing. But can just technically, just it's Leah's turn. Kill him. But you have disengaged. Yeah. Dora's just gonna yell down the stairs, "Hey, you guys! I'm gonna assume y'all have everything under control down there, and I'm going to go buy some health potions because I think maybe we need those." <laughs> I have four hit points. Please be back very soon. You're just uh, aware of how I'll die! Like Leek is gonna yell back, Where are you going to get health potions? We live in a city! <laughs> we'll find somewhere. Are we, we live still in a society. In the city? I know that was the, someone who was gonna say that. Are we, we still in the city? Yeah, you're still in the city. An hour away? Yeah, you're in On the upper... flying goats? You're in the upper city. We and you're, to you also had to wait for Crib dragging Feral yeah. Santa. Technically, so it, it was Crib longer. dragging at max speed. So. <laughs> what is that max speed? You're three, you might be six miles away. I think you're six miles away. Something around that. I'm gonna put an annotated map on the website so, like, people will be able Just to see things. Just wants to play D&D. He's rolling dice over there. All right, Blake, would you like to make a turn before we start having a conversation, apparently? Um, Prim is going to <laughs> pin the guy against the wall, similarly <laughs> to the Feral Santa, because Feral Santa, I'm assuming at this point, is just <laughs> around. He's not being very helpful, to be honest. I mean, but he's not, like, he's not doing anything. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin him to the wall with my Warhammer. All right. So he can't really go anywhere. Uh, or... sure. <laughs> yeah, cool. In which case, Ash, you were talking... Sure. Sure. Do you want to do an additional action? Um, yeah. Well, I guess I want to talk to him and figure out, like, what's going on. <laughs> like, how's your day been? <laughs> He's like, hey, you look like you've had a rough day. Yeah, after we killed all of your hey, friends. Hey, How you doing, man? <laughs> you want to talk yeah, about it? Shit job. But yeah, I guess I want to know, like, why they're under a building. I don't think he's going to tell you, just, like... While trying to also fight you. Are we gonna play good cop, bad cop with this poor guy <laughs> that we just massacred his friends? So Listen, gonna... I'll give you this ruby I found if you tell me why you're hiding Ooh. out here. Hey, isn't that one of our rubies? <laughs> I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> Corvus is just looking at room, dumbfound. Alright, he tries to attack you again. What? Can what I is attack he, him? How is he attacking? Because I'm, I have him pinned against the wall. It's my turn. Okay, he you get with struggles his against being pinned to the wall, and I thought that you were using your you like didn't want to take an action. You were I just mean, talking. Not until I was done talking. Okay, okay you're done talking. Are are we? Do we want to kill him, y'all? No, Corvus. Yes. Yes. Just no, fucking honey, kill him. Don't, don't kill him. I'm pretty sure I can get some answers out of him, but I kind of need him alive to do that. Are we just gonna Feel play free. good cop, bad cop with the different characters? <laughs> so is it my turn now? Uh, he's gonna make a strength roll, and then it will be your turn. Thirteen. Um, roll strength. We're contesting. Please don't get a one. With plus strength, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, thirteen. Ooh, you Ooh. tied. Uh, that generally goes to the quote-unquote attacker. So that would actually be him. So he wiggles free of you, but that is his action, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But you know, that's how it is. So who's uh, turn to sit down? Dean. I'm going to be casting Charm Person. You're casting what? Charm Person. Oh. So you need to roll a wisdom I literally throw. had a... Let's see here. Do you know, like, the the nails that are Ooh, used for 18. circus tents? Fuck, you beat like, it. Like, it's a big thing. I'm going to kill this fucker. I can't charm him. Like <laughs> All right, it's Caleb's here. turn again. Oh. You can um, attack. <laughs> yeah, I tried to charm him, and it did not work. Too smart. Too wise. Who he was only close? Or... Hmm? Who's close to... Me. Um, yeah, definitely Criv, at I the mean, very least. If, if, if everyone just went through and skipped their turn again, I could do it, but I'm assuming... We're unless, probably gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming everyone's I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna attack him. Cause I All right. With the sneak attack, if possible. Yeah, he's yep. fucking dead. <laughs> if I hit. I got a 15 by rolling, so it's like... To hit, that hit, yeah. It's a 20 total. Eight. Eight damage? He's not insta-dead, but he is definitely unconscious. Hey, so we have two unconscious people you and two insta-dead yeah. people. Yeah. So we can... Tie him up. Cook the insta-dead people. Actually, I want to search everybody's bodies. Oh, me too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I'm not cooking any people, I promise. That Okay, that's good. 
Can I also search a body? Yeah, you can search the bodies. Um, they're not I carrying much search on all them. Of them. Uh, personal items, pins, Corvus their wallet. Them. I don't know. I want their wallet. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, weapons so how much have. wealth are we getting? Like they all have clubs because that's what acolytes have apparently, and they have like pocket change mostly. They don't have a ton on them. Uh, I want their pocket change. Yeah, I'm trying to move away from specified amounts of gold money because right. when you hit a certain amount, I'll bump you up. Okay, so it's just going to be like you're keeping track of it. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, so looking around the basement, there is a yellow altar type thing. There's a number of oil lamps uh, lighting the room. Like I mentioned earlier, it's partitioned in half, but it only covers a half of the room, so you could just walk around the partition. On the altar and table, there are... Big old bowls just filled to the brim with gold and platinum pieces in the hundreds. Holy Ooh. shit. We're rich, y'all. What the fuck? Yeah, you certainly are now if you weren't. Oh, right. Jesus. Okay. We have money for health potions. Yeah, this is... <laughs> 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 this, is on health yeah, this is enough to bump wealth. I'll have to pull up your wealth stats to figure out how much, because it's going to bump Kriv more than it's going to bump Leap, obviously, because it's. A, I assume it's an exponential scale, because that's kind of how wealth works. But it, it will bump you. But I won't. <laughs> Has Dorian oh, returned with a health potion yet? I don't I, assume so. I don't so. think Dorian's coming back for days. Looking for places to buy health potions. <laughs> I just I don't know someone gonna save money for Dorian for when he returns returns with health potions? It's also only been like a minute. Also, <laughs> I mean, I was just gonna say because I w- unless what? I can convince yeah, someone else to give me one of their health what? potions probably. to wake this dude up because I want to question him. That's fair. You might also be able to do. You could. You have, if you have, you have all the time salts. in the world, you could do medicine on him to like get him conscious. Theoretically. I have medicine. Do you do need medicine? Well, you could see whether there are other people who want to attack you in here. Seems pretty quiet, though. Corvus picks up one of the people and kind of leans them against the wall and, like, bounds her, like, legs and arms. And she turns to the party who's celebrating their newfound health. And she says, y'all, don't, don't kill him. If someone could fucking heal him, that would be great, because I'd love to know what the fuck was going on here, but y'all kind of, you know, just kill people. And she then, you know, with they her eight hit points, walks into the next us. room. Alrighty. Before she fully steps past the door frame, she's going to roll perception. Sure. To see if she can see what's going on. I just realized that none of the acolytes ever saw Doran. So technically, if everyone else gets arrested, Doran can get away scot free. How did they not see Doran? Well, because he, he never left the, the stairwell. He was yeah. on the stairs. He shot missiles down the stairs. He dragged Corvus up, up the, the stairs. I thought Dor- and he Corvus left. was down the stairs. Not all of them. No, Corvus fell back, back the onto the steps. Um, they they didn't were see that. I don't. Well, they saw Cor- Corvus, get- Corvus getting dragged <laughs> away, presumably. And then, and then, then Corvus, Corvus was Corvus. dead or unconscious. Well, except that one. Yeah, and well, like when Corvus yeah. got dragged away, there were still like more people engaging them, so they would have been distracted by like Rune or yeah. Leek. They definitely didn't see a face that they. Uh, mm. Leek is going to first of all tie up both of the unconscious people. I am going to have Dean's action first because okay. they did their action first. Again, they just walked <laughs> off. So yeah. So I need to roll perception. Yeah, that's sure. how you check. Yeah. What's in the room? Historically, rounding the partial wall that's over there you see that the second area of the room has three young people in it they look like they're tied up attached to walls in a corner they're well, like they've got ropes tying them to walls they're not strung up like classic prison style how young are these young people why are they in a church is, is this a church this is a pretty cool why are they tied up called it a temple yeah it is a Hold on. One of them is a young elf who looks to be in real rough shape. Uh, she's female. A dwarf who also looks rough but not quite as bad. And a human who looks like they haven't been there quite as long. They are the most uh, aware. They look frightened, obviously. And so, How old? they still sort of sickly. Young. They're not quite... Are they teens? Yeah, they're older teens mostly. Corvus, Glad we killed these guys. Corvus calls back into the room. Like, kind of, like, she, like, pauses, hasn't fully entered the room yet, like, looked around, like, kind of, like, sees, like, what she's going to call babies, obviously, not actual babies. But she pauses, kind of looks at them, and turns back and says, 
Y'all, we may just kill those unconscious bastards in there. There are some kids in here, and none of them look good. And then she goes all the way into the room. All right, they're fearful of you, assuming that they're conscious, which two out of three of them are, and shy away from you as you approach. Can uh, Lee tie up the two people that are unconscious? Sure. Kriv is going to assist in tying up the unconscious. I want to either torture them or question them, one or the other. One or the other. (laughs) All right. And and, and then follow into the room. All right. Yeah. So now there's a bunch of people in a room with some tied up children. Corvus. <laughs> what one is unconscious? The elf. Okay. What were is the feral two? Santa uh, a dwarf quick, and a human? Okay. Quick question: Is feral Santa in this room or the room with the children? He would probably follow you into the room with the children. Okay. Um, I'm gonna k- keep an eye on feral Santa and Corvus let other people who can talk talk to the children. Corvus is going to kneel down in front of the kids, mm-hmm. and she kind of like open palm with kind of surrender hands, and she's like, "Honey, we're not here to hurt you." Can y'all tell me what's going on? The human speaks, and he says, uh, oh, th- "Thank the skies above. Uh, are are they? Did you kill them? Or I heard a scuffling out there." They're not going to be coming in here to hurt you, honey. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, Lord in the skies, thank you, <laughs> honey. You just said that. Oh, I love you. It's a baby. It's my child. <laughs> Are they hungry? Do they need some food? I uh, some they food. definitely look like they One need a lot passed of out. I, I take out some... my water skin and I... Well, first, I untie the children. <laughs> that might be I, good, I take, yeah. I take out my small like dagger I have and I untie them and I offer them up my water skin. Mm, the, uh... Nourish the children. <laughs> I'm going... The dwarf and the human take it and drink hungrily. The... Are they no longer How scared? Drink <laughs> Are they no longer scared? Uh, yeah, they've warmed up to you pretty okay. well. <laughs> now that they know that you're not going to torture them, I mean, you know. <laughs> well, I would also thing. like did to they, offer them Did food. the elf, when Corvus cut him down, just, like, flop <laughs> under the floor? She's starting to rouse. Okay, like, I just wanted to check. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's real spacey, doesn't necessarily know what's going on, but she's she's with you there. Yeah, the human explains, uh, he says, like, I hadn't been here real long, I, it's hard to tell down here i think weeks probably not more than months but i think weeks probably so long but i don't know what they were planning they just stashed us down here these two have been here longer than i have but they don't know any more that i know of they keep talking about hounds and rabbits crazy uh, darling did they mention anything about a heart of any sort or anything that may and she kind of is, is the elf awake now uh, kind of more, more <laughs> she's coming to as you're sitting and talking to her, yeah. Uh, and Corvus kind of paused as she's talking to the human. And in Elvish, she turns to the elf and asks her, have they heard... Like, she kind of just at first just says, like, the word, the, like, the male. And she then, of course, like, full on, she's... So, of course, it, like, she just went, heart? <laughs> but she... Because uh, she's hoping it was... Overall, that talking to the elf will speak, like, spark the, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I heard that word. But then she continues to talk to the elvish girl who's coming around and says, Honey, I know you've been here a while, and it's not right. But have you heard them mention anything about heart or step softly or any weird old man? Yeah, she blinks at you and throws a brow. She's, like, she's trying real hard to concentrate on just your words and focusing in general. But she blinks and says, uh, I'm... She lifts her lips again. I'm a male. And, like, feral Santa pushes past you. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, like, grabs onto her. And... <laughs> it's his child. Baby! We almost killed Santa. And he was his child. We Do you want to He was not good at explaining himself. I and protected him. Murder. I stand by my act. <laughs> You were standing in front of them. Yeah, I was like right in front of all the children. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> and she was kind of unconscious. I'm like, mm hmm. Yeah, he's wrapped around her currently, and his Ooh. shoulders are sick, shaking silently, and she's oh, just got like really tears streaming. <laughs> and she croaks out, like, Father, you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> Father, why are you a guy? Doran's gonna 
You're right. Can Doran arrive with the health potions now? <laughs> you can't just go and buy things off scene. <laughs> yes, I can. It hasn't oh, been, been a minute yet. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I just found you a magical. You can come back, but you can't have had a shopping a... adventure. We can rest. So, yeah, no, and also no, no, Doran can Doran come back. But Doran Doran. came back, and he's like. Guys, I realized that I needed money for the <laughs> potions. <laughs> Wait, why is Baby. Feral Santa Hugging, hugging it? Where did the children come from? He's just like back in the room. He's like, I'm broke. I need cash, guys. What's going on? <laughs> why are there children here? Uh, why are there Cor- children? Why Cor- are they Cor- look tortured? Gonna sit up from where she's been pushed off of the ground. And she's like, Darling, that's kind of rude. I, mean, I understand this is, like, your part, your child here, but... And, like, this is all in Ovish, though. Like, that's what she... I want to say she's kind of stuck in it, but, like, that's what she was just talking to the child in. Fair. So she's kind of just still in it. Mm-hmm. Because she knows he also speaks it. So yeah. So she's like, I, I apologize for how I treated you earlier, and she offers him a piece of smoked meat. Like, <laughs> you like this? Uh, he completely ignores you. He's very yes. focused on his child. <laughs> what would y'all like to do? You're not wrong. I mean, I think we could almost cut it there. I mean, cool. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Gays and Goblins. If you liked what you heard, we will be uploading new episodes every week on Wednesdays. Last Wednesday, we did not have a chance to upload as it was Christmas Eve when we would have had to record that, so we didn't, and we apologize for that. And next week, and... Perhaps the week after, we also will not be uploading as we are taking a short hiatus while we figure out our tech issues. Thank you for your patience as we try to figure out these challenges. You can also check us out on social media, where we post updates about the podcast, as well as official art and character information. Our link tree has all of our social media handles and can be found at linktr.ee slash gays underscore n underscore goblins if you would like to donate to our patreon we would really appreciate that as making a podcast is not cheap and in exchange you can get cool rewards like having an npc named after you or getting awesome behind the scenes content until next time have a gay day